How would you explain the rise of populist, right-wing and far-right parties in Europe? Migration plays a role. European voters do question immigration. But there's also a crisis of European integration and a lack of European identity. Citizens have the impression that the European Union is a bit cold, a distant monster whose democratic legitimacy is not clearly established. They do not so much contest the principle of Europe, they want Europe, but not necessarily that one. Do these hardline parties actually have a program that makes sense? What we know is that in Austria, the FPO already participated in a coalition government and it didn't meet the objectives it had set. It didn't deliver the policy it had proposed to voters and that's why it got punished in the general election that followed. But today the FPO is doing really well. One can certainly imagine that the next Austrian president could come from that party, maybe even the future chancellor. So actually, many Austrians support the extreme right. The Austrians are in a particular situation because, as in Germany, Austria is governed by a large coalition of social democrats and Christian democrats, from the left to the right. And that's basically this governing modality that some of their respective electors are contesting today. They want to overturn the table and give a chance to a party that has a simple speech. There's an elite and the people, and if the elite betrays you, we are the people. We will represent you, we will do exactly the opposite of what the mainstream parties have so far achieved. With this simple argument, a portion of the electorate says, ultimately, these far-right parties are not very structured, and we're not certain they will be great in power, but we want to overturn the others so badly that we're going to give them a chance. Are traditional Republican parties questioning their strategy or do they tend to align with the rhetoric of populism? Effectively, we have a temptation in the democratic right to run after the vote of the extreme right. It's a tactic that never works. We have known this in France for some 30 years, but there are still politicians who think that by outbidding the proposals of the extreme right, that of France's National Front, for example, it will bring back constituents. This is a gamble that has, so far, never worked. Rather, I believe that there is a necessity for the liberal and conservative right to return to its fundamentals, to reconnect with the very old ideology, that of liberalism, that of social conservatism, and then to explain to voters that opposition parties who have no government experience are parties that will lead us into a war, because one can effectively challenge the terms of the European integration. But leaving Europe? Saying no to Europe and going it alone will undoubtedly, and in particular economically, lead us into a war.